So welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy from Thaisko Learnings and in this video we'll talk about Switch. Hold on, do we have Switch in Kotlin? Now if you remember in Java normally we go with this, you know, we, we go after after if else we always talk about Switch statement because if you have multiple, you know, if you want to compare multiple values or if you, if you want to compare one value with multiple things, it's better to go with Switch, right, instead of going for if else. Now, how do we write Switch in, in Java? So this is what we do, right, so we use a Switch and then in that you'll be having multiple cases, right? So in this situation, what I'm doing is I, got, I took a value which is n equal to three, and then I'm matching with one of multiple cases. So if the first case case is a case is matched, it will do something. Maybe it is it is printing something, it is doing some operation, it doing, it might be doing some weird thing. Doesn't matter. The same thing is with case two, case three, and then if none of this matches, it will go for default. Now after every case, we put break as well, right? Now why we have to put break there is because if the first case is matching, then once you got the first case match, it will execute all the remaining cases. We don't want that, right? And that's why we use break just to come out of the switch block. So, uh, I mean, that's how you use switch, right? Now, the problem here with switch is, you know, I always used to wonder, uh, switch keyword makes sense because it is switch. And again, uh, this concept of switch is coming from C, C++, okay? This is not, you cannot blame Java here for this thing. The, the things which I hate in switch is this break statement. I mean, why do we need a break statement? Why don't a case match? I mean, once you match the case, it should print this stuff, right? Why you have to put break? Maybe they might be having some uh, some issues with this before in C and C++, but it doesn't make sense after in, 2000, in 2017, right? And that's why Kotlin says, hey, don't worry. You can use switch in, in Kotlin, but then there are some changes. The first change is, okay, let's, let me just go in this way. So let me create a variable here. And I will create a val. Now again, you can create a val or val. The only difference is val is a variable, val is a constant. Now in Java, we use final keyword. Here we don't have to do that. I will say this is num and I can define the type of it. I will say this is int and I can assign any value I want. I will go for the same example which we are doing there. So I will create a variable num and I will assign the value which is two. Now, how do you compare this? Now we don't use switch here. We use something called as when. Now, when is a special keyword in Kotlin, which is almost same as switch. Now, it takes num as a parameter. Okay, you can pass any parameter, any type of parameter. It supports string as well, the way you support a string in, in switch in Java, right? So, you can pass any type of value here. It may be, it may be a int or it may be string. And then you have to match with the cases. But then question arises, how do you match a case here? What would be the syntax for this? So we don't use a case keyword. We simply assign the value whatever we are comparing with. So let's see if I want to compare this with one so that bit one makes sense. Now what type of operator I have to use here? In switch we use colon, right? Here we have to use an arrow. Now once an arrow is done, you can do anything you want. Whatever you can, what you, I mean, if you want to multiply this number with something, if you want to print something, just to make it simple, I will do, I will be doing printing here. So I will print a message and I will print a message as one. So if this matches matches with one, it I will print one. If this matches with two, I will print two, right? So I will say two. And sorry for my typing speed; it's very slow, I know. And if if matches with uh, three, I will print. I will say print L, and I will I will print three. Uh, that T should be capital just to give them respect. And then I, I want to check with these three cases. And if nothing matches, you know, in switch we have default. What about when? In when we use else. We don't have a default keyword when, when when you work with when. And then we'll print here, we'll say give a proper input. We'll say give a proper input. Again, you can add uh, some adjective there at the end. But then we got this one, right? So we got one, we got two, we got three, and we got else part as well. Let's try to execute. Let's see what happens. Now you might you might you might be wondering where is break statement here, and that's the magic. And when we don't use break statement, in fact, we don't need one. In fact, uh, you know why I get annoyed. So I don't get 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 annoyed because of I'm I'm a developer. I get annoyed because I'm a trainer also, right? Because you have to explain this to some people. When I use switch, and when I try to explain a switch to my you know to my students or my trainees or my colleagues, the problem is you know I have to explain this break one as well. Why we have to put break there? And somewhere they get stuck in there, there itself. So yeah, that's the issue. Let's run this code. Let's see what happens now. So it's running. And you, you can see the answer we got is two. And you can see I don't have any break statement there. 
and we use we are using else and that means if I change this value to 6 as well it will print give a proper input right let's run this and you can see we got the output as give a proper input right so that's how it works that's how you can use switch here okay easy right and you can pass string as well you can pass integer now the problem is I mean not the problem but then we have a question I mean that question comes to my, my, my mind is if we talk about if else in Kotlin we have seen that video earlier so when we work with if else what we use is we, we can use if else as an expression now when I say expression it, it simply means that it will evaluate and you will get something in return so in this case if you are using when can we use when as an expression uh, let's try that so when I say I can use when as an expression that means it might return a value so I will say where str equal to but then what I'm expecting here if we talk about this print ln now print ln if you return if it if, if it returns something it returns a unit uh, again unit simply means void in in Kotlin so let's let's not talk about that now let's let's remove this uh, print ln for time in because I don't want to print something I just want to return something so when I when I remove this thing whatever we write after the case or whatever we write after the return uh, after the arrow this will return to the value of str so if the case matches with any of this value it will return that particular value so let me just let me just change this value to 2 okay so whatever we have done now it will it will assign the value to that particular thing so example if I say if I pass 2 it will match with this 2 and this 2 will be assigned to str this is the same thing as if else right so let's try to uh, you know print uh, str here so I will do what I will do is I will say print ln and I will say uh, str is and then I will use a dollar symbol to represent that str right this is how you use str string template let's run this code let's see what happens now okay can you see that we got the output as str is 2 that means using when I mean you can use when as an expression as well so that's how you can use when in Kotlin which is same as switch I, was, I would recommend you to work on this try different combinations uh, try uh, try to convert this into a class file then de uh, decompile it to get the Java code and let's see what what you get so let me know your feedback in the comment section and that's it. Uh, do share these videos with your friends and if you liked this video, click on the like button and do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.